Okay, now we're going to take a look at Credo Reference. We're already in the databases page. And clicking on the C's will take us there. Credo is what we call a scholarly alternative to Wikipedia. Uh, it's sort of like Wikipedia in that it contains a lot of introductory information on a lot of sources, uh, but you can actually cite it. It's an online collection of reference books, like encyclopedias. And you can see here I've already put in student debt as a search term. Uh, so we'll go ahead and search that. We get almost 500 results uh, from various entries. And you can see in the subjects on, the, on this side here, we can see what kinds of sources we're pulling from, uh, social sciences, history, business, etc. We can see what kind of entry types we get if you wanted to narrow it down that way. Uh, we also get some people that come up. Uh, so obviously some individuals with a lot to say about student debt. Uh, and then publication dates, if we're concerned about how old or how new a particular reference is, uh, you can sort it that way. You can also change your subjects here. Uh, but I'm just going to leave it here for the moment. And you can already see this, these are coming from different resources. Uh, Unabridged Encyclopedia with Atlas and Weather Guide, uh, Companion to Consumer Research and Economic Psychology, Anti-Capitalist Dictionary. So lots of different sources we're pulling from. I'm going to take a look at this second one, Credit Debt and Problem Debt. Uh, obviously, that's to do with student debt. Could fall into any of these issues. So you can see this is a fairly extensive introductory article on student debt, or rather on credit debt and problem debt. It's going to give us a nice bibliography here, the Get It button, which you've probably seen before. It will jump out and search for those sources. At the bottom here, we've got our um, uh, citation information. Uh, defaults to MLA, but of course you can change it to APA or anything else you might need. And then you can just drop that into uh, your document there. Uh, also, uh, you'll notice on the side here some related resources. From here, we could jump out into uh, any, of, any of these other related sources. So if we click on CQ Researcher, it's going to take those same terms and plug them right into CQ. So we get uh, some CQ Researcher articles related to debt, credit, uh, problem debt, etc. All right, another interesting tool with uh, Credo Reference is the concept map. If you're trying to develop your topic, um, you can do a concept map. And that takes a second to load up, so I'm just going to jump over to this one. See, our student debt pulled up all of these different ideas, kind of branching off of each other and what those are related to. Uh, Jack Wiseman, for example, if we take a look at that, we get his picture. And we can take a look at the full entry here. And from here, you can read the whole thing. So that's just a quick introduction to Credo.